guys, so I'm going to start off with my L'Oreal True Match foundation. I'm going to be using this new and amazing Real Techniques brush. It's like a stippling brush, but it's a little bit denser than normal stippling brushes. So I just love this. It gives a really flawless and even application. And I got it on Amazon, like a set of them for like $16. So um, you'll see the other one that I use from this set. Next, I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Conceal Pure Beige. And I'm going to just um, conceal under my eyes. I'm just gonna blend that out with a damn beauty blender. Now this is the contour brush and I'm just gonna take my Anastasia contour powder in Fawn and use that to contour. And the thing I love about this is if you are just new to contouring but you still want like a light, like a very slight definition to your face, this is the perfect brush because it doesn't look blotchy, it doesn't look heavy, but you could definitely build. So I'm actually building with another color right here. Um, I think this is Java, but it's just like the darker brown and I'm just building to get a more defined contour. Next, I'm going to take Banana and take my e.l.f. brush and just highlight under my eyes. Then I'm going to take a NYX blush in Cinnamon and I'm trying to look for my blush brush. And I applied too much, but that's totally okay. All you have to do is just take the beauty blender or the brush that you just use and just dab it very slightly and blend that and yeah it, it easily blends it and you fix the problem Yay. next I'm going to take my physician's formula highlight in Vegas strip I'm gonna take a Sigma tapered highlighting brush and apply this and this is actually a dupe for champagne pop it's very very close it's not an exact dupe but it's very close just in case you really don't want to spend the money on champagne pop but you still really want a nice highlighter that's similar get this Next, I'm gonna prime my eyes with MAC Soft Ochre. I really hate myself for liking this so much because I feel like everybody uses this and I really didn't wanna buy such an expensive primer, but this is amazing. I already did one eye and what I'm gonna do is take a black liner. This is by Wet n Wild and you could use any black or dark brown liner and I'm going to um, draw a crease right above my actual crease. And now when you use a liner, make sure it's really smooth and blendable. The thing is, this is actually an eyebrow pencil, but it's terrible as an eyebrow pencil because it moves around so much, but it, it's perfect for this because it's really easy to blend. So I'm actually gonna do a floating cut crease, which means I'm gonna just um, wing it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna take this eyebrow brush and I'm going to start blending it upwards. It's gonna create sort of like a, a blended gradient look. So I'm just doing that. I'm going to just keep blending it upwards making sure to still keep that line. It's not perfect, but it, I'll fix that. Next, I'm gonna take the Anastasia um, Couture Palette, Morocco from this palette. I love this palette. And I'm gonna take, um, again, I'm gonna take Morocco and I'm gonna use a Sigma E25 brush. It's a really nice blending brush. And I'm gonna use this to blend out that harsh line, the black line, um, and just make a really nice and smooth looking. And then I'm gonna take Fudge also and a uh, blend that on top as well. You still want to keep the shape of the crease, obviously. Um, and what I'm doing here is just swirling the brush in my Veramona color switch thing. And this actually cleans the brush for me so that I don't have to switch brushes because I'm going to be using the same brush. So what I did is actually take the light beige color. It's a matte beige. I'm just going to use that to help blend it out more, blend out that um, top more. And I just went back in with fudge and just applied that. <laughs> Then I'm gonna go in with my concealer that I use under my eyes and I'm just gonna take a little bit on my hands and I'm gonna take a little brush. This is what I usually use to clean up my brows and what I'm doing is cleaning up the bottom of that crease just so that I could get that nice curved crease look. Um, this is kind of a cheat but it's easy so, and it works. So. And then I'm gonna take this uh, really beautiful gold color and I'm just going to use a flat synthetic brush and apply that all over. This is like a no-name brush. I got it on Groupon a long time ago and I'm gonna use this and just sort of carve out my crease and apply that all over. When you get to the crease part, be very careful not to mess up the line. And then I'm gonna go in with Noir and I'm using a very small smudge brush. This is from Real Techniques. I'm just gonna very lightly go over that black line so that that crease is really nice and sharp. And then I'm going with this Morphe gel liner and I'm taking a brush and just um, 
doing a wing. The thing is, though, the gel liner, it dried out or else it would have came out really nice. But unfortunately, it was just way too dry. Um, so I went in with a liquid liner on top and just did a wing, making sure not to touch the two wings and just um, made them as parallel as I could. And I wanted to do a thin wing. And then I'm just going to line my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take Noir and apply it with the same brush that I used for the crease. I'm just applying that onto my outer corners. And then I'm going to take Morocco and apply that into the other half. Next I'm gonna take Chic and I'm gonna use this to um, just brighten up my inner corners a little bit. I'm just applying just a little bit inside there. And I'm just going to curl my lashes don't forget the bottom lashes. And for my brows, um, I have a full brow routine. I'll link it below. But I, I just highlighted first. And then I just filled it in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I like highlighting first now. I feel like it's a little bit easier than after. But then I end up highlighting after too. So, <laughs> And then I'm going to use this NYX Suede Lipstick in Cherry Skies. And I'm just going to apply that all over. You really don't need a lip liner with this. It just... It's really nice. And I just applied some Coco Lashes in Goddess and that is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoy this because <laughs> cut creases are probably the hardest things for me to do and I've been practicing for a while. And so I really, really do hope you guys like this. I am pretty proud of it. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you think. Bye guys.